little bit too big, you fly a little bit too close to the sun. That's right. I'm getting sued by Brett Favre. What? Doing me in a defamation lawsuit, saying I defamed his name to try to earn a profit. I have been waiting for this one, man. I found out about this report a few nights ago. The moment I got this, I was waiting for more information to come out. I was waiting for the great Pat McAfee's reaction. I was waiting for Uncle Shannon Sharp's reaction. And I was waiting to make sure I got all the info I needed to make the most complete video I possibly could for you guys. So buckle up. This is gonna be a crazy video exposing a NFL Hall of Famer. And it's also gonna be a little depressing if I might add. So before we get to the content, make sure you drop like, subscribe, and turn on our notifications to help the channel grow. We are on the grind to 700,000 subscribers. And if you want shorter versions of this content, make sure you check me out on Instagram and TikTok. Now that we got all that out of the way, break! When this happens, we all make bank. Prize Picks is hooking us up for the Super Bowl with a free square from Patrick Mahomes, which means Mahomes just needs one passing yard in order for his square to convert. So all you have to do if you want to join is go to the link in the description down below, download Prize Picks, and use my promo code microphone so they can match up to $100 of your deposit. And once you're done with that, make these picks. Obviously, you should go with the Patrick Mahomes 0.5 passing yards and click more. Once you're done with that, one of my sleepers is going to be Kenneth Gainwell, who has been a monster throughout the playoffs for the Philadelphia Eagles, and he just needs to get higher than 21.5 rush yards. So we're going to click more there. And if Kenneth Gainwell gets more than 21.5 rush yards, you could 3x your money. Now, if you feel really good about this, you could also add Travis Kelsey scoring one touchdown. And if both of these hit, you 5x your money. I play prize picks each and every day, and I post my picks to my story on Instagram. So make sure you're following me there if you want to see my picks on a daily basis. And thank you, Prize Picks for the sponsor. My check one, two, one, two. What's going on, everybody? A few months ago, we made a video on Brett Favre's alleged scandal. And I highly recommend you check out that video if you want to get a more deep dive as to what went on because we dig really, really, really deep into the allegations there. But a few months have passed since then. As a matter of fact, it's been almost half a year since that video was made. But all you have to know is Brett Favre is alleged to have used welfare funds for a college volleyball state. Stadium. Favre allegedly coordinated with state officials to direct $5 million meant to help residents of Mississippi towards funding a volleyball stadium at the University of Southern Mississippi. And here's the thing. There are text messages that verify all of this. I mean, here's a highlight. Brett Favre actually said this in one of his messages, stating, if you were to pay me, is there any way the media can find out where it came from and how much? Nancy knew. No, we never really have had that information publicized. I understand you being uneasy about that though. Let's see what happens on Monday with the conversation with some of the folks at Southern. Maybe it will click with them, hopefully. Yeah, so it doesn't seem like Brett Favre understands that he's doing something horrible or wrong, or it doesn't appear that Brett Favre knows that he's stealing. In order to get a volleyball stadium built. And you can see this actually works out. Brett Favre says, okay, thanks. Nancy News says, wow, just got off the phone with Phil Bryant. He's on board with us. We will get this done. Awesome. I needed to hear that for sure. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's some evidence that Brett Favre did some shady sh a few years ago. But that's neither here or there. I don't need to take time to explain to you why this is an absolutely horrific thing to do. I mean, I don't mean to sound like on a high horse or anything like that, but a state like Mississippi is known for being one of the poorer states in the United States. Obviously, they have their higher income areas and their lower income areas, but stealing $5 million from one of the lower income states in the United States of welfare, which is money that goes to underprivileged families that could be the difference between them being able to make ends meet and them struggling and not having anything to eat. The fact that someone would go and steal that sort of money from them is horrible. But what's even crazier about this is when you take a look at how much Brett Favre has made throughout his career. And we're not even getting to the craziest part here. Currently, Brett Favre has earned a net worth of around $100 million. And that's before we even get to his direct direct salary in the NFL, which is $140 million alone. As a matter of fact, according
According to ABC News, Brett Favre is actually the NFL's first $100 million man, which makes a lot of sense if you want to compare those contracts to contracts of now. It makes a lot of sense. And then you also consider the fact that he's played in the NFL a very long time. We've made a video on how many times he's come out of retirement and went into retirement. So he's played more football than the average quarterback would. And when you don't think that's enough money, you also realize that Brett Favre is one of those athletes that doesn't turn down a bad he promotes everything that is thrown his way from Wrangler jeans to Remington to Sears to Prilosec to Sensodyne, MasterCard and Hyundai. Brett Favre has a lot of endorsements. The whole point of this being that the fact that he would go out of his way to steal $5 million in welfare funding just to build a volleyball stadium is insane. I'm sorry. Like I've said this to my friend Jamari who was covering the Logan Paul scandal, which I should have done on the Flight Mike TV channel, but sports have been keeping us very busy on both my basketball channel, The Flight Mike, and this channel, Microphone. But I never understood at what point do individuals that have a tremendous sum of wealth decide that enough is enough. I personally never understood why Logan Paul, who was headlining WWE pay-per-views, by the way, who was crushing it and reaching heights that influencers never really reach, would go out of his way to scam his followers out of millions of dollars. That never made sense to me. Is it really worth it? considering all the money you're already making naturally without scamming people? The same kind of applies here. Is it really worth it for Brett Favre to steal $5 million when he has a net worth of $100 million? Obviously, these are allegations. In my opinion, no. But obviously, people are hardwired a little differently. Not everyone has my philosophy, but at a specific point, like enough money is enough money. You invest that money in some real estate, get some passive income, and then you go about your way doing other stuff that means a lot to you. But that's besides the point. We're getting way off topic here. My apologies. The reason I'm bringing this up is Brett Favre decided, you know what? People think I'm a horrible human being. And I bet you I know why people think I'm a horrible human being. It's because Shannon Sharp and Pat McAfee have been talking sh about me. Yeah, that's why people don't like me anymore. It has nothing to do with the fact that there's text messages that have leaked to the public about my alleged welfare scandal. It's the fact that two very mainstream media board show hosts have been talking sh about me. So what does he do? Well, Brett Favre have decided that he's filing a lawsuit against Shannon Sharp, Pat McAfee, and a state auditor for defamation in the wake of the welfare scheme. This to me is hysterical. I mean, this is the equivalent of Logan Paul looking at CoffeeZilla and saying, you know what? I'm gonna sue you for exposing me here because that's exactly what Brett Favre is doing. And the funny thing is, it's not even Pat McAfee and Shannon Sharp that did anything to expose him. They're sports commentators, they're supposed to talk about this type of stuff. And that's what makes it's so sad at this point. We do have Pat McAfee's reaction and the state auditor's reaction and Shannon Sharp's reaction. So let's start with the state auditor. Upon learning of this, the state auditor had this to say. According to Tony Snell, who says breaking Brett Favre sues Shannon Sharp, Pat McAfee, and Mississippi auditor Shad White for defamation on Favre's alleged welfare fraud, White's reply, instead of paying New York litigators, he'd be better off fully repaying the amount of welfare funds he owes the state. That's the crazy part of about this. He's about to sink in a ton of money trying to sue Pat McAfee, Shannon Sharp, and Shad White. And the funny thing is, like, I understand we look at Pat McAfee with his jean shorts and his tank top thinking, okay, this is just a relatable sports bro. Pat McAfee and Shannon Sharp are flush with cash. They could make Brett Favre bleed dry if they really wanted to engage in this war. Brett Favre is probably seeking a settlement. And is he gonna get that settlement? Well, let's take a look at what Shannon Sharp's response is. Shannon Sharp tweeted out saying, some people have become really weird looking for paydays. And then he quote tweeted a video and wait, what? <laughs> Here's the video that Shannon Sharp quote tweeted. Bro, really? Yeah. What? Why not? I have a lot of empathy for Shannon Sharp here. There's a story of me bumping into Shannon Sharp at the gym, telling him how much he inspired me to create my YouTube channel. I asked him for a picture. He told me to f off because we're at the gym right now. I can see why he does that now, to be honest. Like the fact that someone's recording him getting a puppy, it's just so, it's it's so bizarre. I, his reaction is everything here. He's like looking at the guy saying, what the what are you doing recording me? So Shannon Sharp actually reacted to this. You see a video online, somebody posted me, I wouldn't pick up a dog in the airport. They got me on. <laughs> huh? 
how much out of exchange for the dog skip they done got all of that all right so it looks like shannon sharp didn't even dignify this lawsuit with a response so what about pat mcafee well pat mcafee took this head on props to the legend here because he addressed this on his show i'm getting sued alongside shannon sharp and an auditor from mississippi <laughs> by brett fucking Favre. wow in a race Every single video that has Brett Favre's name mentioned in it. I looked at that, I said, that is hilarious. Of course we're not doing that. There's one word I believe that was said often on this particular program if you were to watch it all, and that would be allegedly. The job is to report the news because we owe the sports media world our coverage of it. We take our job seriously as journalists. And then Pat McAfee famously says, oh, let's ride this fucker. I'm excited to see how it goes. I'll see you in court, pal. So it seems like Pat McAfee has officially declared war on Brett Favre, rightfully so. Because at the end of the day, he is right. If you're saying allegedly, which we've said multiple times in this video, Brett Favre, if you're happening to watch this and thinking that I'm worth suing, which I really highly doubt, I'd be shocked to be honest. But he said that these are all allegations. Nothing is necessarily definitive in stone, even though there are text messages out there saying otherwise. I personally think Pat's gonna be in the clear here, but at the end of the day, I'm not a lawyer. If you're a lawyer, let me know in the comment section down below. Does Brett Favre have a case here suing Pat McAfee and Shannon Sharp for defamation? I'd like to hear what you have to say. Aside from that, if you made it to the end of the video, drop a f Brett Favre in the comment section down below. Aside from that, I'm your boy Mike. I'm dropping our mic until our next upload.